How's it going guys, Jace here back with another Modern Deck Tech. I'm back here again with the Light Jund list. I'm giving it a go today. Basically it's Jund splashing white for a Jani and Blage. That's pretty much it. All the rest is what you can kind of expect from a Jund mid-range list. With like Ragavan, Renin 6, Tarmogoyf, we're playing Nefogoyf as well. So we're going to kind of going for a little bit more low to the ground, aggressive style with that Ragavan and Nefogoyf. Of course with a Jani as well. Jani's just super powerful, Um, you know, Adding in an extra bit of power makes it really awkward for opponents to deal with because um, they don't want to kill the token and so on and so forth. It just flips and goes out of control. Flage is incredibly powerful. Orcish Bow Masters is going to be very good uh, at dealing with like the One Ring and a lot of small tokens and stuff. Then we've got some good removal, right? We've got Fail Push, we're taking Bolt, uh, we've got Molten Collapse, Terra Sunder, and Terminate. So we've got an Assassin's Trophy. So we've got a lot of spot removal that can just deal with pretty much most creatures. Uh, and then one Shieldred to finish it off in the top spot. In the sideboard, we've got Linear on the Veil, good against uh, control decks, you know, some sort of creature decks, as long as they don't go wide too much. Uh, pretty good against, like, Eltrazi as well, which is actually okay. Then we've got Toxic Deluge against, you know, creature decks go wide. We've got Veil of Summer, uh, good against uh, the Mono Black uh, Necro decks, and also pretty good against Control. Pick Your Poison, good against the One Ring. Creatures of Flying, Enchantments, always pretty good. Three Nihil Spell Bombs against Graveyard Strategies. Three Dampened Spheres against Tron. Then we've got the two Disruptor Flutes against Nardu, or against the One Ring, or Planeswalkers. And then one Engineered Explosives, just to wipe the board and clear up all of those pesky creatures and other stuff that might be going on. If you want to give a deck a try, guys, the list will be in the description below. We can play in a best of three modern game. Let's get it. Open hand, yeah, I'll keep... Seems pretty good. My opponent's going first. And they've kept their open in hand. It seems good. Not like, no interaction at the moment, but... Seems fine. Oh, yeah. Warm up against Breeding Pool. Noble Hierarch. Well, blast in the past, that one is. I can't can't deal with it. Not in the moment. Still turn two. Lango. Yeah, not till turn two, unfortunately. Yep. So what am I playing against? Noble Hierarch. I bet it's Nardu. 100 percent it's gotta be right. Is it not do? Do it. Do it. Uh. Yeah, just grab that. All right. Removal. Would be pretty sweet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right, question is, is my opponent going to kill me on turn three? Probably. Yep. Spell Skype. Kind of obnoxious, but okay. Here we go. Can't even bolt the bird, it's a 3-4. Can't, you can't Galvanic Discharge it, you can't Bolt it, can't push it. Spell Sky. Alright. Is it when, uh, whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell or ability, yeah, I can't actually deal with the Nardu. I've got no removal in my hand at all. None. Whatsoever. Well, I mean, I can't deal with it anyway, they've got Spell Sky. So, my only uh, hope. Uh, let's grab a Sacred Foundry. I can't grab a Sacred Foundry. Let's grab Blood Crypt. My only uh, hope here. Can't. Why do I always tap mana wrong? I'm like, why do I always tap mana wrong? I'm like, oh yeah, because it's Magic Online and it's old as anything. Alright, over to you. Got some blockers against your flyer. Nice. Not. Shield doesn't even stop either because it's not a draw effect. Venerated Rock Priest. Okay. Is it like a, a 
Nardu Infect deck? The hell? Sure. Well, I'm going to play uh, Shieldred. I can't even attack because. I mean, I can't attack, but. That's a dead draw. If I ever saw one. Should have played the villain Karakum, that was my bad. Yeah, oh well, I, I don't think it matters. But there we go. I'll swing in. A chump. Also jump and they take two. There's no point in attacking. I'm not attacking. No. I'm on eight. There's no point. Double rent, triple rent draws. <laughs> Just brutal. Absolutely brutal. I got, good, I got somewhat good sideboard against this. I got Disruptor Flu, which is good against like the Nadu combo. Uh, I've also got like just removal. So yeah, hopefully my opponent doesn't have a a Shuko. What does the Rock Priest do again? So whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell, an opponent controls. Vines of vast wood. Okay. So yeah, I think Nardu should say an opponent controls. I think they missed out that like a creature should have whenever this creature becomes a tiger a spell or ability an opponent controls, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it to the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. It would still be a good card. But it just wouldn't be busted. So we're getting two two poison counters. I don't know if this is a full-blown combo style list. I mean, it must be, but um, it's kind of going like an infect route, which is interesting. My opponent's deciding what they want to do with this card. I don't even know what it was. No idea. I don't actually know what it was. It was a rock priest, I think. I think, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Opponent's on 14. Yeah, it was another rock priest. Okay. Well, I actually just died of poison here. We would have died to the rock priest and not the Nadu combo. Nadu's swinging for 8. That's swinging for 7. It's going to put me on 1. What the hell? And a mutagenic growth. Okay, so we got a weird com. Okay, all right. This is not what I expected at all. We're bringing Lily. We're bringing Deluge. Um, I mean, bringing the explosives. Now I want to bring in the disruptor flute against Nardu itself, just in case they do have the combo. I don't know if they do, but they might have the com. I would assume they have the combo. Right, Ren and Six is. Shockingly bad. I'm gonna cut two of those. I think Ragaband's also pretty bad in a matchup where opponent has cards like Spell Skite. Uh, we'll, we'll bring in one more Ren. Pick your poison. Pick your poison could be good, right? I can get rid of Spell Skite. I can get rid of Nardu without actually targeting it. I think Pick your poison might be actually better than Ren and Six, which sounds weird, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and Terra Sunders, not great either, we'll cut that, alright. So we've got a lot of removal, removal heavy, opening hand. I'm going to keep, because if I draw any other land, it's good. And I'm going to grab a, um, overgrown tomb here. Yeah, if I rip any other land, I am... 
cooking. Okay. So, we have the Nardu. We've got Noble Hierarch. I really hope I draw a land. Dismember. Endurance. Mm, I don't really care about Endurance that much. I think I just take... They got one land. I think I just take the Nardu. It's the best card in the hand, by far. I'm going to take the Nardu and hope that I draw a land of thought. For the Bowmaster. It's a sketchy keep from me, but it's all I've got. <laughs> it's, all, it's all I've got. Come on, land. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Never didn't have it. Yep. Deal with the Noble Hierarch. Hopefully they didn't draw land. So they've played the Noble. They've played the land. So their hand is Protection Spell, Endurance, um, Pump Spell, Dismember. Yeah, they drew a land. Alright. Still nothing at the moment. I'm going to play the Goyf. Hmm. Do I name Nardu with this? Or do I name Dismember? Don't know. Gonna play the Goyf. Just get these threats down. And we'll go from there. Gotta pick your poison for Nardu if they play Nardu. That's not a problem. I've got the Molten Collapse to deal with the Endurance. Um, so yeah. I mean, if they dismember the Nef Nefergoyf is not a great card to dismember, although I don't have a land yet. Ink Moth. So I am against Infect. There's the Nardu. Okay. Am I going to be dead from the infect? Maybe. Thought sees. Um, can it name? Activate it. Just choose a card. Activate ability resources. Okay. So definitely pick your poison. Uh, yep. Prepare and sacrifice a creature of flying. And then I'm going to thought seize them. And potentially take a pump spell. I can disrupt the flute, the ink moth. Hmm, what do I want to. So I can attack for four. I'm still not buffing up the Nethercoif yet. I might actually take the Dismember. Yeah, I might actually take the Dismember here. Hmm. Or the Endurance. I think actually Endurance probably. Because my Volcarosa, they need a land, right? Oh no, they passed this turn, so they could go activate, swing, attack, and then I can play Disruptor Flute. Okay, we'll get rid of the Endurance. Okay, we'll get rid of the Endurance. Pass turn. I'm going to take 5 Poison. And then I can play the Disruptor Flute. Name Ink Moth. And then should be okay. Yep. Let's hope they don't have a magical way of killing me. Yep. Take five. I got a I got a six as well. It's not like oh no, because yeah. It was infect. It's actually like actual proper infect. Alright. So no, I don't actually take five, I just take five poison. Okay. That's not a good draw. Okay. 
Okay, we'll name Ink Moth Nexus. No, no, Ink Moth. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Need to name Blink Moth then. They still have the Dismember. Keep that in mind. Yeah, that was lucky. I nearly named a Blink Moth then. That would have been a game over. So they've used the Might of Ocarosa. So they've got Vines and a Dismember and two Unknown. Alright. The thing is, if they use Dismember, they lose a lot of life. Ajani, can't play it. Alright. Um, EE. -E. We'd want to put EE -E on. Maybe on one. Yeah, probably put EE in one. Because they can have like rock priests and stuff. Okay, in we go. Really could do with a land though. Right, I'll just do EE in one. Just as a bit of assurance next turn. They're on three, so they can't use the dismember. They can't activate Ink Moth. They just rock the flutes done well. So I'm against so I know I'm definitely against Infect, but with Nardu. The Disruptor Flute is just good for the Income Off Nexus. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go to the next game. Oh, that was tough. So I'm on the draw. Um, So, yeah, they're basically... I mean, uh, Terra Sunder might actually be pretty good. Because it does deal with Ink Moth at instant speed. Yeah, that might actually be legit. I pick Your Poison did very good. Uh, engineered, I'm not too sure about. Liniana... Um, probably not good here. Alright. Opening hand. Uh, this is actually pretty decent. I mean, we've got hand disruption, removal, a threat. If the shield red was like a goif, then that would be fine. Or even like another form of removal. But, hey look. At the moment, I'm good. Got the lands. My opponent's going all in on the Ink Moth Nexus. Okay, well, I... Pretty bad draw there. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. That's a really bad draw. Alright, we'll grab um overgrown tomb and hit him with a thoughts. Oh <laughs> why did I tap it for green? Hit it with the thoughts is at least they don't have Veil of Summer. Alright. Blossom in defense, mutagenic growth, right? We'll get rid of the blossom in defense. And they've just got land. Land and mutagenic growth. They can play it quite slow here. And build up a critical mass. That's probably what I would do if I was my opponent. I mean, they might as well just get in for a cheeky poison now. Or they didn't attack? Interesting. Oh, just no more land, please. Please, deck, no more lands. Grab a... Godless Shrine. Play a Jani. Just get a threat down. Alright, I need removal. I'm fast. This Lightning Bolt isn't going to do it. Nope. This lightning bolt is definitely not going to do it. Okay, so there's the Verdun Catacombs. Noble. Come on, give me give me a removal off top. Just any, any, any removal. I don't even care what it is. Any removal. Okay, my opponent remembered to attack this time. So, I'm going to take two poison. Just give me a removal. Take a Renin Six. Take a Fatal Push. A Bolt. Just don't even care. Even a Thought Seize would be fine. Just not land. Oh, ho, ho, that's even better. That's probably the best draw I could have got. Name Ink Moth. Don't have a random Force Negation. I'll cry. I mean, I, even if they do, they can't play it. They don't have the the mana. 
We've got two lands, Mujang Grove and an unknown. We're going to name Income off here. Bolt the higher rock. Do we even care about the higher rock? Probably not. Probably not. Like, what we're going to do is stop their mana. Like, they can't activate Ink Moth. Ink Moth Nexus. Okay, I don't want any more shenanigans from my opponent. Okay, might as well rumble in. And then next turn, just slam Shieldred, I guess. And I'll grab a Triome. We're going to block. Oh, they could use Mugena Growth. I'm just going to bowl it. Um, probably a Blood Crypt. Just bolt it. They're tapped out anyway, unless they got another Mugen Growth. No. Okay, I'm going to keep Jani around. Because it's the only way I'm actually going to be killing them. And, and you know, it removes their Mugen Growth. They lose their Hierarch. I can slam Shieldred. And I hope that's enough. So Warlogged Grove, they're gonna sack and draw a card. They currently got two lands and two unknowns. They can't activate Ink Moth. Uh yeah. Flage. Flage is good. Flage is good. Yeah, let's get a Shelly down. I'm on seven, so I've got to be careful. But again, they can't activate Income Off unless they've like boarded in an anti artifact card, but it's quite quite a narrow thing to board in. Okay, they go to ten. I mean they're dead next turn. Because of the flage. So they could always so they played the breeding pool. We could have a Nardu here. Naughty Nardu. Blighted Agent. Okay. Thoughtseize. I think that's probably just sealed the deal, right? Borrow the Thoughtseize with the Overgrown. Alright. So my opponent's got pump spells for absolute days. Um interesting. Uh swing in. Yeah, they did. Okay. I think I'll just gonna take probably a might. I'm gonna take a blossom in defense. Awesome to kick the vines. It's plus four, plus four. Hmm. He's he's creature gonna get a plus four, plus four, regardless. Right? So if I tackle Shieldred, Shieldred dies. There's no point tackling Shieldred. If I tackle with the two tokens, he's gonna kill Ajani, take two. Hmm. He's not dead. Yeah, opponent's not dead here. Hmm. Um. Could attack so if I attack with the token. If I attack with the token, opponent will probably take it. So if there's an attack, hmm, okay, but I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the mic. Because this could be four, five, six, seven. It's one short. All right. If I flage this now, the flage has to go face. 
Then if I swing with everything, he has to use all of his pump spells. Let's say he pumps, blocks, takes four, goes to... He use, has to use the vines here. He's got the blossom in defense. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. Forces him to use the vines of Vastwood. Huh. Interesting. Not what I thought here. Sure. I mean, they're definitely dead. There's, <laughs> there's no way to uh, sugarcoat it. They're definitely dead. Kind of odd there, but there we go. GG's. There we go. Managed to take down Poison Simic Nardu. I actually thought it was full-blown Nardu with a control, but nope. It was a Poison deck, which was pretty good. It was a pretty cool deck, actually. So... But managed to take it down. Jund has always been pretty good against poison, mainly because we have got so much interaction from hand disruption to kill spells. We can make it difficult. Disrupt the flute though. Absolutely incredible. Being named, you know, being able to name Ink Moth Nexus, it doesn't matter if they've got all of the different uh you know protection spells or whatever. Disrupt the flute's like, nope, you can't even turn it into a creature. So it just shuts them out completely. Because Ink Moth can be a pain. But overall, the deck is pretty good. I, I, I've enjoyed it. I've had great fun. I've played quite a few games with this deck. It is good fun. If I if I had to change anything in this deck, it would probably be the sideboard. I think the main deck is fine. Maybe uh, cut a land. But I think 22 land is fine. I just seem to always get the land. 3 Ren and 6. Ren and 6 is okay. I probably might cut 1 Ren and go 2. I think Ren and 6 is actually falling out of favor quite a bit. Even though there's a lot of one toughness creatures going around still. Uh, it just wasn't the best in every matchup. And um, this deck is quite low to the ground anyway. But overall, I do think it's good. Again, if I had to change anything sideboard, Dampening Spheres, I might replace with something like Break the Ice. Mainly because, um, played against Eldrazi, mainly because I think Dampening Sphere is fine. I think Break the Ice is just nice just to just remove the land. So it's good against like the aggro Eldrazi list. It is double black, but that isn't really much of a problem that I found really with this deck. The mana is actually pretty solid. There wasn't really much from like, oh, don't have the colors, don't have the colors. Even for the double red, double white for Flage, it's quite easy. With all these fetch lands and Ren, it's quite easy. And then on top of that, you got the Ragavan to get, you know, a treasure. Ragavan was okay, but again, Ragavan came out in a lot of matchups. So that also might be a card I might swap, but overall pretty fun deck so if you do want to give it a try guys that list will be in the description below if you made this far into the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button make sure to subscribe for more magic content that's it from me guys in today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one